So today, let us do a problem on a single uh, column manometer. Okay. So just note down the problem. The problem says that a single column manometer is connected to a pipe containing a liquid of specific gravity of the liquid is given to you. Okay. Specific gravity of the liquid is 0 0.9 as shown in the figure. Clear? Now here you can see, I'm talking about this particular liquid. This is a single column manometer. All of you can see here. What is a single column manometer? As already told you, you here you find a presence of a reservoir here. And the area of this reservoir is, you can say, approximately 100 times more than the area of this particular pipe. This pipe here, you can see, this is containing a liquid, which is having a specific gravity of 0 0.9. Now he's saying to find out the pressure in the pipe if the area of the reservoir is 100 times the area of the tube for the manometer reading as shown in the figure. Now the specific gravity of mercury is also given to you here. Okay. So you have to find out what is the pressure in the pipe. Clear? So in order to find out what is the pressure in the pipe. Yeah. So actually what he's saying to find out? Who will say? He's saying to find out what? He is saying to find out what is the, yes, we have to find out what is pressure at point A, clear? What is the pressure at point A, clear? That you have to find it out. Is this clear to you? Okay, have you noted down this problem? <clears throat> Are you noting it down? Yes, sir. Okay. Note it down and I'll be asking you some questions. What is the specific gravity of the liquid in the pipe? You write down and say the answer. What is the specific gravity of the liquid in the pipe? What is the specific gravity? What is given in the question you see? What is the specific gravity of this liquid which is there in the pipe? How much it is? 0 0.9. Okay. If you know the specific gravity of the liquid which is present in the pipe, you can find the density or not. How to find density? Specific gravity multiplied by the density of water. Okay. So what is the specific gravity of the heavy liquid? Nobody is answering. What is the specific gravity of the heavy liquid? That is a mercury. It is 13.6. Clear? So you can find out what is, the what is the density of mercury also simply by multiplying the density of water. That is 1000. Okay. Then area of the reservoir. Here you see area of the reservoir is 100 times the area of the tube. 100 times the area of the tube. Clear? So area of the reservoir, we will take it as a capital A. And area of the right limb. Right limb is this area of the right limb will take it as small the ratio of capital a to small a is equal to 100 that is what it is given in the question now what is the height of the liquid who will say Twenty what is this height of the liquid h1 Twenty so, what is the rise of 40. mercury that is has a rise of mercury okay. 40 that is h. 40. so you have to simply uh, put the formula and let us find the answer. The formula already I told you. I think you have written also. Shall we start? Did you write this? Yes, sir. Okay. Everyone has written the question? Yes. Just listen. Okay. Because yes, sir. Last, last class video also I have not shared with you. Just try to understand. 
Okay, can you see the here the paper? All of you. Yes, sir. Now, one by one, let us write what is given to you. First one is write down also you also specific gravity of the liquid. Okay, in the pipe. The specific gravity of the liquid in the pipe, let us take it as S1. So how much it is given? 0 0.9. Clear? Then what is rho? This is given to you. S1 is 0 0.9. Density of the liquid in the pipe. Density of the liquid, that is, we can take it as rho 1, because liquid we are terming it as 1. Okay, suffix 1. So it is how much? 0 0.9 into... 1000. 1000. So it is 900 kg per meter cube. Clear? Yeah. Similarly, the liquid which is present in the right limb, specific gravity of which liquid? Specific gravity of heavy liquid. Specific gravity of heavy liquid, let us take it as H2. Already you know the specific, it is given in the question. If it is not given, you have to remember this particular value. Clear? Yeah. So specific gravity of heavy liquid is 13.6. Similarly, density of this heavy liquid. Do means, I'm not writing again. So rho 2 is equal to 13.6 into 1000. So how much it is? 136.00 kg per meter cube. Got it? Yes, sir. Next. Next, what more else is, was given in the question? Area. Yes or no? So, area of the reservoir is 100 times the area of the tube. Again, you see, area of the reservoir is 100 times the area of the tube. This data is given to you. Clear? Yeah? So, area of reservoir that is capital A by area of what? The tube that is small a. So a by a is how much? A by small a. What is the ratio? 100. 100. Clear? H1. H1 is what? Height of the liquid. H1 is how much? Height of the liquid. Which is there in which side? Left side or right side? Which is there in the left side? Left side. How much it is? 20 centimeter. So H1 is 20 centimeter. Convert it into meters. That is 0 0.2 meters. Now, what is the rays of mercury in the right hand side limb? It is H2. 20 centimeter. So 0 0.4 meters. Clear? Yeah. So, we have to find what? P of A. What is P of A? Let you take P of A is pressure in the pipe, which you have to find it out. This is what he has asked, pressure in the pipe. Okay. Now, you know the formula. Who will say the formula? Just see the notes which you have written. P of A is equal to Rest to G minus H1 G. Hmm. P of A is equal to because here area is given to you. If area is not given, the other thing. Okay. A by A H2 Rho 2 G minus Rho 1 G plus H2 Rho 2 G Minus H1 rho 1 G. Yes or no? Is this a formula? Yes, sir. Must take it. Clear? So this is the formula which you have to remember. Clear? So, so now somebody said H2 rho 2 G minus H1 rho 1 G. Is it? H2 rho 2 G minus... H2 rho 2 G minus H1 rho 1 G. That is what the formula you have said or not? 
yes, this, one, this formula please see p a is, p a is equal to h2 rho 2 g minus h1 rho 1 g this this formula you have to consider when the ratio a is very gonna... very small when a by a is very very small clear but here he is saying to consider to consider that ratio if the ratio you are considering this is the formula you have to this is the formula you have to write this is what the formula I have written okay so simply substitute the values what is what is a by a a by a is 1 by 100 1 by 100 okay h2 is how much given to you 0 0.4 you can see rho 2 you got it as 13600 okay into 9.81 minus what is rho 1 900 into 9.81 plus h2 is 0 0.4 into 13600 rho 2 into 9.81 minus h1 is how much 0 0.2 into 900 into 9.81 okay this you calculate and save me the answer So let us use calculator here. You also use the calculator. So zero point four divided by hundred is zero point zero zero four. Okay. So one three six double zero into nine point eight one. One three six double zero nine point eight one is how much? One double three. One double three. Four one six. Minus. Nine hundred into. Nine point eight one. That is double eight. Kindly do cross check it. Okay. Plus. 0 0.4 multiplied by 13600 into 9.81. This is how much you got? 53366.4. Okay. Minus 0 0.2 into 9.81 into 900 this is 1765.8 please do this calculation how much you're getting you say the answer So, I got this much answer. I hope you are getting the same answer. Yes, sir. 520-98.948 Newton per meter square. Or you can take one thing, 5.2 Newton per centimeter square. Can I write 5.2 Newton per centimeter square? Okay. So this is the pressure at A. Okay. Any doubts? <coughs> Completed?
Please wait for a minute and let me. नोट दोन गोडे शाल यू गो टू द नेक्स्ट वॉलम यस सर ओके सो दिस वॉज द प्रॉब्लम विच वॉज रिलेटेड टू सिंगल कॉलम मैनोमीटर ओके now let us do problems on differential manometer that is u tube differential manometer and inverted u tube differential manometer which we have already discussed the theory part clear डिस्कशन करू वोट करू नहीं खाए नहीं नाउ नोट डाउन दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑल ऑफ यू Somebody read the question. A K K or so, Mandir, Sahil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Present, sir. Hmm. Somebody answer and. <laughs> To read the question, a pipe contains soil. Read down the question. Sir, a pipe contains an oil of specific gravity zero point nine. A differential manometer connected at the two point A and B. So a difference. Difference in mercury level at 15 centimeter. Find the difference of pressure at the two points. Okay. <laughs> Find the difference of pressure at the two points. Okay. So, so this is a problem related to which manometer? Differential manometer. 
and you know in case of differential manometer in case of ordinary manometers what did we see one end of the manometer is actually open to the atmosphere or not but in case of differential manometer both the ends of this particular youtube differential manometer problem which you are going to solve these are actually connected okay both the ends of the pipe clear so a pipe contains an oil of specific gravity so this is a u tube sorry this is a u shape tube okay or differential manometer which is connected to the two ends of a pipe please remember in the till now we have done problems which are related to one particular pipe only but here if you want to find out what is the difference of pressure when a particular liquid is flowing in a particular pipe suppose there is a liquid which is flowing in a pipe what is the difference of pressure at two different points that you can calculate by using a differential manometer you can use a differential u uh, u tube manometer or differential inverted u tube manometer i'm talking about the shape u alphabet u okay so i hope you have written the question so what are the things given to you here what is the given data say one by one 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 given data is specific gravity of the particular oil is given to you which is present in the pipe okay by what by which you can find if specific gravity is given from the starting of the session we had you know that if specific gravity is given you know how to find the density then a difference in mercury level is also given to you that is h is given to you 15 cm then specific gravity of mercury because basically you find mercury in the in the in that particular uh, differential manometer okay so that particular uh, mercury specific gravity is not given to you and you know it 13.6 clear and you know how to find out the density of mercury also now here the difference of pressure actually is given by a particular formula that particular formula let us see here so i hope you have written the question so what is the given data the given data is specific gravity of oil okay which is there in the pipe so let us take it as s1 how much is given specific gravity of oil 0.9 so if s1 is given you can find out what is rho1 rho1 is what rho1 is <coughs> It can into rho one thousand. It is the density of oil. Okay, so it is zero point nine into one thousand. So you'll get nine hundred kg per meter cube. Meter cube. Okay, then difference. Remember difference in mercury level. Difference in mercury level, okay. That we will take it as h. H is given as how much in the question? Fifteen, is it? H is given how much? Fifteen centimeter. Clear? So convert it into meters. So zero point one five meter. Okay. Then. Before that, specific gravity of mercury is not given, but you know all of you it is how much? Thirteen point six. Rho, that is density of mercury. That is how much? Thirteen point six into one thousand. So one three six double zero kg per meter cube. got it now difference of pressure when we talk about difference of <coughs> pressure so that difference of pressure is given by equation what is the equation pa minus pb is equal to s yes. 
PA minus PV is equal to what? This you can take it as H2 and this you can take it as formula concealer. What was the formula? See here. GH rho G minus rho 1. So he has taken as rho G, not uh, instead of H2, he has taken as SG. This is rho G. Okay. As we have said. So PA minus PV is how much? Anyone? Rho G. Yes. Rho suffix G. G indicates mercury, okay? This G indicates what? Acceleration due to gravity. H minus rho 1 G H. Is this clear? Or you can take G H as common rho G minus rho 1. This formula you can remember. All of you are getting Are you getting or not? Listen, sir, if you, sir, if I forget the formula, then what is the case? Here, you see, here, both the, sir, why you have taken this? Because A and B, they are at the same level. Is this clear? As given in the question, you can see in the question, if they are in the different levels, the formula is different. Here, a pipe contains oil of specific gravity 0 0.9, clear? And they are at, difference in mercury level is 15 centimeters. From here, from the question, you have to understand that A and B, they are at the same level as this, as you can see this, this particular diagram. Okay. Got it. Now, same thing, pressure at the right. What is the pressure here? What is the pressure here in the right side limb, in the left side limb? Pressure in the left side limb is how much? Rho 1 G, Rho 1 G H or not? Rho 1 G? How much? Okay, go on. Okay. Rho 1 G H, H plus X plus P A. So using that particular concept, all of you see, this side, all of you say me, this side is your which limb? Left side. Left side, how many pressures are there? One is pressure at point A plus? Why you are not answering pressure at point A? If you forget the formula, how to, how to know? P A plus rho 1 G H plus X. What is the height of the liquid? H plus X. Okay. Then what is the pressure at the right limb? In the right limb, you have two pressures. One is your P B plus. There are two levels you see. One is the liquid, one is the other. So rho G G H plus rho 2 G Y plus P B. Here, rho 1, rho 2 is there, sir. Why you have taken only rho 1? Because here only in the, in the question, only one particular oil is flowing in both the pipes. Got it? That is the reason the formula has changed. If they both are in the same level, this is the formula. P A minus P V is equal to G H rho G minus rho 1. Did you get this formula, all of you? Yes, sir. Now, let us substitute. So PA minus PV, that is difference in pressure, which you are going to calculate. How to calculate? So G is how much? 9.81. H is how much? 0.15. Rho of mercury is how much? 13600 minus Rho 1. Density of oil is 900. Please solve it and say me what is the answer. Make it fast. All of you, you have calculators or not? I don't understand why you are taking this much of time. 
it is 18688.05 newton per meter square or 1.87 newton per centimeter square so this is the pressure difference okay Is this clear, all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Completed. Yes, sir. So let us do the next question. Note on this problem, all of you. A differential, <coughs> a differential manometer is connected at the two points A and B. Now here A and B. Now the levels are same level or different levels? A and B are they in the same level? Different, level. different levels. Okay. Different levels. Different levels. If you are feeling difficulty in remembering, remembering the formulas, now I will solve this particular problem. Okay. So no need of remembering the formulas. Remember, try to understand the concept. Using that particular conceptual oriented, we will try to solve this particular problem. A differential manometer is connected at the two points A and B of two pipes, as you can see in the figure. Okay, so the pipe A, this particular pipe, all of you, this pipe A, it contains a liquid which is having a specific gravity 1.5. Pipe B is having a liquid containing specific gravity 0 0.9. Remember, here in the previous question, the oil was same in both the pipes, level was also same. But here it's a totally different question. At pipe A, there's a different liquid of specific gravity 1.5 and at pipe B there is a liquid or an oil which is having a specific gravity 0 0.9 okay now here one thing is given to you the pressure at A and B is already given to you clear find the pressure here in the previous question we are finding out what is the difference in pressure but here difference in pressure no need to calculate pressure at A is given 1 kgf per centimeter square and the pressure at B at this particular point is also given how much? 1.8 kgf per centimeter square. So this is the data given to you. So what you have to find it out? You have to find out what is the difference in mercury level in this particular differential manometer. What is the difference in mercury level? By seeing the diagram, can anyone say what here we have to find out? Which parameter? In the diagram it is shown. Find the difference in mercury level. Which parameter you are going to find out here? See the diagram and say, what is the parameter you are going to find? Yes. Oh, ho. Where do you see mercury? This is your mercury or not? Yes, sir. Yes, which parameter? Difference in mercury level in differential manometer. Which parameter you have to find? <coughs> you have to find out what is 
height h h okay see h is is the difference in mercury or not see the color so yes, let h h you have to find it out okay write down the question fast Okay, have you noted down the question? Yes, sir. Yes. Now see the diagram. Yes, with the help of this diagram, let us see. Now here, you have the mercury here. Clear? Now this is your datum line. All of you can see. X X is the datum line, and this is the mercury till this point. So this particular raise in the mercury level, H, you have to find it out. What are the different other things that are given to you? Now this is the liquid. Simply, I'm drawing the rough diagram. Here there is other liquid, which is there in this particular tube. Clear? So this is your A, and this is your point B. Clear? So as given in the question, so this is given how much? This height. This is how much? Three meter. And this is as given as nobody is speaking. Two meter. And here you have a oil which is having specific gravity how much? One point five. And here you have a liquid which is having a specific gravity zero point nine. Is it? Now pressure at A is given as. One kg per centimeter square, and pressure at B is also given as 1.8. I think 1.8 kg per centimeter square. Kg per centimeter square. Got it. So this is the data that is given to you. Clear? So let us do one by one. What is S one here? Somebody answer. What is S one? Zero point five. Hmm. How much? See the code. See the diagram. At A, at pipe A, S one is one point. One point five. One point five. Okay, what is the density? Row one. One point five into. One thousand. Get this here. Fifteen hundred kg per meter. Meter. Clear. Then what is H two in this pipe B? Zero point nine. Zero point nine. Zero point nine. What is row two? Yes, make it fast. Nine hundred. I hope you are understanding. In every problem, we are doing the same thing. Clear. Yeah. This is the data given to you. Next, pressure at A is given. How much? One kg per. Twenty meters. Yeah. Yeah. 
So let us try to convert this into Newton per meter square. Okay, just see carefully. One kg per centimeter square. Can I write it as one into ten to the power of four kg per meter square? Can I write? Yes or no? By centimeter square, I have converted to meter square. So ten to the power of four, I have multiplied. So ten to the power of four into nine point eight one newton per meter square. Because one kg of is how much? All of you know this. One kg of is equal to nine point eight one newton. Do you know it or not? Do you know this? So P A is equal to nine point eight one into ten to the power of four newton per meter square. Got it? So convert all in one unit. PB is given how much? 1.8 kgf per centimeter square. Who will say? What will be the, how to convert in newton per meter square? 1.8 into 10 to the power of 4 into 9.81 newton per meter square. I'm not writing same thing in exam also. Okay. For your reference, I have written all these things. Any doubts here till here? No, sir. Next. What is the density of mercury? Density of mercury is how much? I am writing directly. One thirteen point six into six zero. Yes, one three six double zero kg per meter cube. This you know it already. Okay. Now, for there is a formula. If if you can remember the formula, there is no issue. But if you forget the formula, then what is the what will happen? And don't forget, don't panic. So let us do that as if you do not know any formula. Okay. Take x x as datum line or reference line see the diagram this is your xx or not this line is your datum line got it or the reference line now if you take now let us see pressure we see here pressure above this line in the left limb which limb or which side left limb left limb okay now who will say what is the pressure you know all of you see what is the pressure ab above xx line i am talking about this please see carefully in the left limb in the left limb, what are the things you find? Are which which liquid you find? One is this liquid, which is having specific gravity 1.5 or not? Yes or no? Yes, sir. And yes, there's sir. one more, one more, one more liquid, one more here is there. What is this? Which is above this in the left side? Mercury or not? Mercury. Yes. So let us see here. One by one, I'm writing. First one is the pressure at A. You have to consider this or not in the left limb. Clear? In the left limb, it is pressure at A plus. Got it? Next. Here, here mercury is there or not? What is the rise of mercury? What is the rise in mercury? In the diagram, you see here. In the left side, it is how much H or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what is the pressure formula? Rho G H or not? Okay. So what is the rho of mercury? Just now you have calculated one three six double zero. Rho G H. Same formula nine point eight one into H. Hello. Plus, here you have one liquid. You see all of you. What is the height of the liquid? Please see carefully and answer. What is the height of the liquid? Five. Six meter. Three, three plus two meter. Okay. Five. Three plus three meter. 
टू मीटर तो प्लस व्हाट इज द रो ऑफ दैट लिक्विड रो वन के फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड ना फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रो वन यू सी हियर रो वन इज हाउ मच फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड दिस लिक्विड इन टू जी नाइन पॉइंट एट वन एच इज हाउ मच फाइव दैट इज टू प्लस थ्री टू अवॉइड कंफ्यूजन I am writing two plus three, or you can write five also. No issue. Directly. Any doubts still here? No, sir. So here you can calculate. So P A is how much? Just now we have calculated. Ten to the power of four into nine point eight one. Okay. Plus. One three six double zero into nine point eight one into h plus fifteen hundred into nine point eight one into five. So this is the total pressure in which side? Left side or not? <coughs> yes or no? Yes, sir. In the left side. now let us go to right side please see carefully in right side okay let us write here pressure above x x line in the right limb in the right limb how many liquids are there See carefully. In the right limb, how many liquids are there? How many? One. Only one. Okay. What is the row of this? Row nine hundred. G is how much? Nine point eight one. What is the height? Can you say anyone? What is this height? Two plus eight. Two. Only two. Two plus eight. Two plus eight. Very good. Okay, and one more is there. You have which pressure? Pressure at B. That also you have to add up, not. So pressure above this x-axis line in the right limb is P of B plus. How come? Come till I. P of B plus nine hundred into rho g h nine point eight one into h plus two or two plus h. Any doubts? Only this, only this much is given or not? So what is PB? One point eight into ten to the power of four given in the question. Nine point eight one plus nine hundred into nine point eight one into h plus two. Okay. Now. These two pressures, pressure above x-axis line in the left hand, left limb, pressure above x-axis line in the right limb, both should be equal or not? We already learned it. Both should be equal or not? Yes or no? Both the sides, pressure. Okay. So equate it and solve it, all of you. Make it fast. So I'm writing directly. Ten to the power of four into nine point eight one. Okay. Plus. One three six double zero. Kindly calculate. Nine point eight one. You know how much? One double three four one six into h plus fifteen hundred into nine point eight one into five. Seven three 
फाइव सेवन फाइव ओके सो दिस लेट मी डू वन थिंग नाइन पॉइंट एट वन इन टू एंड दिस बार ऑफ फोर ओके सो दिस इज इक्वल टू Eighteen thousand into nine point. This right side I'm solving. One seven six five eight zero plus nine hundred into nine point eight one eight eight two nine into h plus two. Yes. Okay. Try to solve this problem. I am doing it from my side. Yes. Nine eight one zero zero plus seven three five seven five minus one seven six. Five eight zero minus one seven six five eight. One seven six five eight. Eight two asla. Eight eight two nine multiplied by two. Okay, I have done it and taken to the other side. Is equal to. Eight eight two nine H minus one three three four one six H. Solve this. Eight eight two nine minus one three three four one six. It is minus one two four. Five eight seven H is equal to nine eight one zero plus seven three five seven five minus one seven six five eight zero minus one seven six five eight. So it is minus one one zero eight five. Three minus minus gets cancelled, so H is equal to one one zero eight five three divided by one two four five eight seven. How much you got? Zero point eight eight meter. Any doubts here? Calculation, you have to do it, but uh, is this clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anywhere, any calculation mistakes, you just cross check it. Okay. Yes, sir. Because I am doing it this calculator. Maybe there might be a problem. Zero point eight eight. Are you are you all getting this answer? Zero point eight eight. Okay. Just cross check it. Okay. There may be a possibility this might be wrong also answer. The procedure is clear to you, or yes, or you can do one thing. <clears throat> see, see carefully here. This formula also you can put it here. Can you see this formula? P A minus P B is equal to H into G rho G minus rho one plus rho two G Y minus rho one G X. But the Problem be if you were remembering this formula is you should know what is x, what is y, all those things. And this diagram also you have to remember. So that is why I am saying don't remember these formulas. I think this procedure was clear to you all of you. What I have written: pressure in the right side, right limb is equal to pressure in the left limb. Okay. So you practice more problems which already I have shared with you.
Is this clear? Repanja, what a political Sarjaina, the Janibanu Janibanu Civil Okay, Baba Gray is it there? Okay, John, the key go, Baba Gray as in Mandi. You come, Ben, sir. Rajat, okay, Rajat Mata. Rohit Prasad. Kathi, sir. Satya Prasanayak. No, sir. Satya Sanket. No, sir. Kismita Khosla. No, sir. Rastila Parayati. Okay, next mechanic. Civil yeah, he, okay, I, I'll note it down because I had taken screenshot. But uh, in ERP or na name, I have to make it entry. It is not there. Kajal Sharma, sir? Okay. Yes. Ankan Bera? Yes, sir. Chinmay Pradhan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. De uh, Devasi Sri Lanka? Jaldi jaldi go. Yes, sir. Devesh Pansari? Angula? Aski, sir. Jyoti Prakash? Absent. Absent? Yes, sir. Jyoti Prakash absent. Jyoti Prakash sir absent. Raftar Khan? Absent. Mukul Prakash? Aski, sir. Pantamor? Absent. Papun? Papun, absent. Raj Sahu? Absent. Rajesh Sahu? Absent. Asmir Ranjan Mahanti? Absent. Sahil Assi? Yes, Kai Sangam Pera? Absent. Sneha Suman? Absent. Tommy Dibarik? Absent. Sri Chetra? Absent. Subhagant? Subhagant Assi? 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 Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.